Good morning friends, coming to you from our cattle property at Granite Hills and just sitting down here on my quad bike beside the cross behind of course is Hope Mountain. This morning I just would like to tell you a little bit of the beginning of my life story. I grew up in a family uh, where there were four girls and we had a, a loving home of uh, Mum and Dad were just wonderful parents to us and we were brought up in the country. Dad was a small crop farmer. He grew strawberries and pineapples. And when we were young, our most vivid memories were just playing on the farm in the dam, swimming, a dirty old dam. <laughs> and um, also just riding our ponies that Dad got for us. But I particularly loved the animals but you know after my schooling it was time to get a job and so my first job was actually in the taxation department in Brisbane and I remember um, when I resigned I remember writing this note that said something to the effect that I couldn't wait to leave this stinking place I, I, ne I never did put that note in but I remember giving it to mum with a smile on my face and saying I've written out my resignation and it was there that I went out west uh, as a Jillaroo so I went out and I was very green even though I had ridden horses and I had grown up in the country I was quite green to the west and my first job, um, I had a team of about five horses and if you put all of them together, you would get one good horse. <laughs> and they were always brought in from the uh, resting paddock and the spelling paddock and uh, when you rode them, often they would, they would um, pig root or buck or do something like that. So I have vivid memories of um, those properties. Uh, this property actually had um, cattle where they had the rickets, where the cattle were paralysed in the back legs. And so it wasn't unusual uh, when you were come up against a scrubber bull or something like that to have him charge you because he had the rickets, but you didn't know. And you'd race off full pelt and uh, then you'd look around and he would have already gone down and he wasn't behind you. So... During that time, um, I enjoyed that life immensely. I have many stories to tell. I got lost one night when they sent me up to uh, ride the boundary fence and I got miles away from home. Uh, too late in the evening, I turned around to come back and I was riding this grey horse. I remember she was grey. And I thought, I have no idea where I was. And anyway, I just let her have her head uh, because that seemed to be the smartest thing to do and she took me home. I remembered I got home at 20 past 10 that night and do you know no one was out looking for me. They were all in bed asleep. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure what the story was there but however I survived quite well being young and full of life. And um, anyway after I left that place, I actually worked uh, looking after racehorses and I really enjoyed that job. But there was an emptiness in my life um, that I couldn't seem to fill. Uh, my parents had brought me up believing in God and believing in the Bible, but as a young person, I soon thought that um, I was that was not for me. But then when this emptiness came, I remember... I was working with the horses one day and someone came to visit me and uh, he had been sent up there by my auntie and uh, he just talked to me about horses and that and then he asked me to go to his church and I thought oh well he seems to be a nice enough bloke I'll just I'll just go he actually was the pastor of the church Anyway, I went and that night uh, I listened to the message. I don't remember a lot of what he said. I just remember when at the end of the um, church service, he said, does you know anyone want to come forward and receive Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior? And I thought, hmm, I, th I think this is for me. And then I heard this voice inside my head saying, now, if you don't go now, you will never go. And so I walked out to the front of that meeting 
and again I don't remember a lot of what happened but I do remember being outside um, afterwards in my little Volkswagen I had and I remember looking up at the stars and thinking they never ever looked so bright before and I remember a peace coming over me at that time and now of course I know at that time my life had changed radically and dramatically in fact it was like a metamorphosis like a little a butterfly who is first of all a little um, like a caterpillar and then they um, have this metamorphosis where they change and they grow wings and they become a butterfly well I didn't become a butterfly but I certainly was changed from the inside out so God bless you folks have a wonderful day